Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Titan Chain Alloy Snow Tire Chains here on our 2021 Ford F-150 with tire size 275-6020. So these particular chains here have what are known as square links. Now these square links are going to do an excellent job of really biting into that snow and ice to give us the best traction possible. In addition to those square links, these chains also have what's known as a diamond pattern. Now the diamond pattern means we have several different cross sections of the chain here spanning the width of our tire. Now when we compare that to ladder style chains, the diamond pattern here is going to offer much greater traction because we're not going to have those giant lapses in coverage as we do with the ladder chains. The diamond pattern also creates a much smoother ride because we don't have to worry about that clunking every time we make a rotation and our chains catch here with the ladder style. So overall, it produces great traction and a little bit smoother ride. So overall, these are probably my favorite snow tire chains. They're relatively cost effective and they're very easy to install. Now these particular ones here, there's really only a couple connections we need to make. We have a connection at the back, a connection here at the top, and then one at the bottom. So pretty much three connections and they're installed. So assisting us with that installation, you're gonna see several different colors on our tire chains here for the outer chain. And that does one of two different things. Number one, this coating here on this coloring, the coating that the coloring has, this is actually gonna be protecting our hands. Now, when we're working with these tire chains out in the snow, even if we're wearing gloves, these chains can get cold. And also, these square links here are sort of rough to the touch. So having that nice smooth finish there, not only keeps our hands nice and warm, it's gonna cut down the risk of injury as well. And then number two, the different color coded sections are gonna help us with insulation because we can easily distinguish the different sections of the tire chains. With your tire chains here, you're gonna get a couple different things. Number one, in this little plastic bag here, we have some replacement links and we also have some plastic bags that we can stick our chains in after we get done using them. That way, all the water and snow that's dripping off of them, we don't have to worry about that soaking into the carpet of our vehicle. We can keep it in this protective bag here to keep all those contaminants inside. And we also get this handy storage case here. Now storage cases in my mind are sort of an over underlooked feature of tire chains because let's face it, most of the time we're not actually gonna be using those. We only need them for emergencies. Therefore, having a nice way to store them inside the vehicle, such as this handy carrying case here, is a nice added feature. Keep in mind our tire chains are sold in a pack of two. And in regards to placement, whether that be the front or the rear, I do recommend you guys looking in your owner's manual to see not only what type of chains can be used, but also where they need to be placed. So the first step of our install is to get our tire chain out of our bag here, make sure it's not tangled in any way, sort of just lay it out on the ground. Now we do need to be careful of which way we have facing down or which side we have facing down rather, because if we pick up on the outer section of the chain here with the cable, you're gonna notice these little clips here so we need to make sure that we start with the installation where the open end, the hooks rather, for the clips are going to be facing down. So we can see those two hooks there. We just need to make sure they're facing down on all sides. So now once we have the chain facing the correct direction, we have it untangled, what we're going to do is we're going to begin sliding it around the back of the tire. So I did like to point out there is sort of a center section here in the chain. You should be able to see pretty easily where the two chains split apart. That's gonna be the center section there, so we're gonna line that up with the center of our tire once we slide it around back. As you can see here, we have the center section of our chain sort of roughly lined up with the center of our tire. But once we have that, we're gonna grab each of our ends of our cable here, just like that. And we're gonna bring them up over the top of the tire around the back. So once we have both of the cables pulled up, we're gonna make our connection here at the top. It's our first connection. Just take that knob there, line it up with the opening, and then pull back to lock it in place. We're gonna sort of drape the chain over the tire like so. We're gonna grab this green hook here. We're gonna place it onto one of these yellow links here. So just like that, and once we have that connection made, we're gonna be pushing the tire chains back and sort of centering them, the cross sections, on the center of the tire, just like so. We're gonna take this little rubber handle here with our gray chain, and we're going to feed it through this little keeper here, the red keeper on the adjacent side. So just like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this handle here. So we'll feed it through that first red loop there. Make sure we pull it nice and tight. Feed it through the second red loop. 
again keep pulling it nice and tight and now we're going to try to stretch it to the cross chain on the other side there just like that and that's pretty much it as far as the installation goes what we're going to do next is we're going to pull forward a couple feet or so let the tire rotate a couple times and then we can make any adjustments we need to the tire chains here for a nice and tight fit we have some adjustments we can make up there and we can obviously make a couple more adjustments here depending on which section of the side chain we attach it to and with our adjustments made that's going to do it today for our look and installation of the titan chain alloy snow tire chains here on our 2021 ford f-150 with tire size 275 6020.